Like, they're just so fun having you think, choose. Oh, it's rated M. I swore I'd never use my power again. But two nights ago. friend's body in the woods. I don't know who I can trust. No one. Or who trusts me. But my friend Safi is dead. So why? Can I still hear her voice, Max? Max? Focusing my power, I, I somehow shifted into a parallel timeline. Here, Sophie is still alive. The danger stalks are every step. And only I can investigate both realities. Oh, hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one. I gotta play except this, bro. You're dead. I can still save Sophie. If I can solve and prevent the same murder across two timelines. Okay, I like that. I might have to play this. What's it come out? October 29th. Ooh. Around my birthday. Low key, bro. The Life is Strange series is so stinking good. I played all of them, except for the Before the Storm. I, I kind of want to play that with you guys. I downloaded it, so hopefully we can play it. But I love these games, man. I love them. The first Life is Strange game, so good. Like, that game was so stinking good. The story and everything. Life is Strange 2 really good the journey we went on with the two the two brothers man i never felt so sad <laughs> like that sucked like in a good way but damn like that was that was a good story man that journey and everything living in the woods hopping from car to car meeting people it was just such a good game and then uh life is strange true colors i, I it was okay but i still loved playing it i don't think it was as good as the first two though but it's still a really good game. But this one, this one is going to be good. The whole multiverse thing with the parallel universe thing, I like that. So we might have to play that. But honestly, that was a, that was a cool concept. A cool concept. I love the graphics. Love, I'm going to need to see some gameplay though, but I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. That was really cool. 8 out of 10, next.